Right, so Mark, winner again, winner in Windsor, winner in London. Uh, must be very pleased with a very strong run and uh, looked like you controlled it pretty much from the first 500 metres. What's out in the run today? Uh, yeah, no, I was really pleased with it. Um, to hit the podium in uh, the last three Super Series is really good. Uh, you know, I, I, I didn't expect to win the Super Series this year, but you know, hopefully that's that's done enough to win it now. And um, yeah, just really pleased. I suppose always the, the key thing for you, coming from your running background, is where you can come out on the swim, and it's been that's been the development area for you the last couple of years. You came out right in the back of the lead pack today, so that in itself must have been a big taking confidence boost once you saw where you were once you got onto dry land. Yeah, um, I think this year um, my swim moved forward a little bit. I'm probably about 15 seconds quicker over 1500 um, which really makes a difference you know I, I missed the front pack last year by about 10 or 15 seconds and I think that was the difference today uh, you know I've just really worked on my swimming again over the winter and um, you know a lot more uh, threshold swimming uh, harder swimming um, not as many miles probably but um, yeah all the sessions of quality now that I do up in Leeds and uh, you know it's paid dividends it doesn't sound like a lot 10 or 15 seconds does it but in the in the context of what you have to do to earn that and also the improvement that that has in a race at the level you're competing at is, is really the difference between competitive and almost out of the certainly ITU level out of the race before you've even started yeah oh, definitely I mean every second really does count um, in the swim and in, in and in T1 I mean it's a really long T1 in London uh, which you know helps me um, but yeah, it's, you speak to so many people. Uh, even today, I spoke to you know a, a number of guys that have said, oh, "I just missed the wheel," or "I just missed the pack," and uh, you know that that was me uh, for the last three years, just missing packs. Um, but now, hopefully, um, you know my swims come on that 10, 15 seconds, which means I'm not just, I'm just making packs rather than just missing them. It makes massive difference. And you won, I think, it was last weekend in, uh, in, in Spain as well. So yeah. it's been a pretty good season overall domestically and on the international. Yeah, um, I've been really pleased in the, this last few months things started to click. Um, I, you know, I, I moved from Loughborough to Leeds in January. Uh, so training with the Brownleys and Reese Davy and Phil Graves is, you know, it's been a, a massive jump. Um, you know, training is quite a bit different, uh, really intense. And so the first sort of three or four months, I, you know, there's no way to describe it. I was knackered, I was tired. Um, but, you know, I've sort of regrouped, worked, found out what works for me, um, you know, picked the right sessions and uh, yeah, now sort of six months in I'm starting to, you know, feel good. Um, I'm not as tired as much and, you know, things are starting to blossom a bit. So so I've, I've entered more races recently, so I've just got to ride this way for as long as I can now. Does that continue to next week into Liverpool, the um, Premier Champs next week, or are you going to be off to Hungary for uh, one of the World Cup races? Yeah, well, I've decided that, um, you know, for, for, for funding to be on the British team, um, I, need, I need to do international ITU races. Um, so now that I've done three Super Series races, I'm going to miss Liverpool uh, and go to Hungary. Uh, my girlfriend Lucy, she's racing there as well, so um, it's a good opportunity for us to race, race out there, get some good points, um, you know, hopefully both aim for a podium. And you've got, I believe, two races out there. You have a qualifier and a, and a final yeah. over the weekend. So that's a, a little different aspect. We don't have it too many of the, the ITU races. I know they've done that in the last, the last year or two. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a really unique race. Uh, heats on a Saturday and then the finals on a Sunday, both over sprint distance. So, uh, you know, today on the run, I was hoping that I wouldn't have to, you know, go all out. Um, to save my legs a little bit for that, so um, yeah, it's, yeah, that, that, that's basically the format next weekend will be good. So, what, what's the plan sort of going on from this year into to 2015? I guess that continued incremental improvement to, to be more competitive at World Series is that your, your yeah. ultimate aim? Yeah, I mean. Um, like I said, now that I'm sort of on top of the new training location in Leeds uh, and the new training group, um, I intend to sort of hopefully get another 10 seconds out of my swim over the winter. Um, you know, put myself in a, a real solid swim pack. Um, 
and just keep my, my biking and my running uh, where they are. Um, and you know it's triathlon and you got you got to juggle these three free sports and that's where it sometimes feels like you've got these three balls in the air and it's just keeping them all there. Um, as soon as you drop one, sometimes the other two get better but you, you kind of want to keep all three going strong. Um, so you know I, I intend just to do, do, do that as much as I can. And training, training day to day with the Brownleys, what does that sort of torture or what, what, what do you see? Obviously we, we see their performances and yeah. how awesome as they are but when you're training day to day, what does that sort of tell you as an athlete about what you need to do? Um, yeah, I, I mean, I've, I've, for six months now training with John and now you just learn from him constantly every day. Um, you know, people started asking questions at the start of the season when, when they were getting beat and, and Alistair was injured. Um, you know, what's happened to him and, and then they come back with uh, great performances recently and it's just because they, you know, just keep pushing the boundaries. They both want to get better each year. Um, and the, you know, sometimes you've got to, you know, you drop down in performance a bit to, to do that, to try new things, and um, you know, so that really inspires me sort of to do the same, just to look for different ways of training, and um, you know, and, and really push myself as well, just to find those those limits. Yeah, well, congratulations today. And race in the bag, Super Series, pretty much done. I think two wins in a second, so I think you're, you're sorted there. And uh, good luck next week uh, in Hungary. Thank you. Cheers, cheers, cheers John.